Alrighty. F1 22. Um, career mode. Don't have Matt this year. Um, don't know when he's going to be getting the game. If he is, if he's not, don't know. Um, wasn't able to run it on the old computer, so when I switched to this one a week or two ago, I was excited for this. So, um, yeah, this runs smooth, runs good, so let's jump right into it. Uh, as a driver or my team, we're going to do my team. We're going to start as a midfield challenger. Uh, just to kind of start middle custom season. We're going to do 10 races, but we're going to do... Alright, so this is going to be the schedule. We're going to start off in Bahrain. Uh, we're going to skip a few. I'm only going to do 10 season, or ten races for the first season. Um, just kind of get it going, get it going through. And then we're going to go to Imola, Miami. First new track on the schedule. Canada, Australia, or Austria. Belgium, Italy, USA, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi. So, 10 races. So, everything in the... R&D and acclaim and all that is going to be increased. Don't really know what to do. Um, don't want to make it too hard on myself. And then, because I don't know how many seasons I'm going to be doing, but I'm also going to leave it at 90 for now and kind of see where it goes. I might adjust it a little bit. I might go to like 87 um, to start if I'm a little bit fast. Oh, not too big of an issue. Um, use my team icons we're gonna do it all right start on my team welcome to my team here you'll experience the world of formula one not only as a driver but as the owner of a brand new f1 team first things first let's create your driver so now i have to create me um Look at him. Not too big. There's uh, that. There we go. Cabe FN McClenny. Just kidding. But, and for. Gotta do with the Black Mamba. What else cool ones are there? Cook Edwards. Grim Reaper. That's why I was the last game. Hollywood. O'Neill. O'Connor. Brian O'Connor, Paul, there's probably a Walker, isn't there? Yep, Walker. So it has Paul, O'Connor, and Walker. That's fun. That's cool. The rookie professional. Alright, yeah, I'm good. We're going to do that. Black Mamba. Kobe. And since I don't have five, we always do fifty. And all right. Now let's focus on your driver's look. Driver's look and clothing. We're gonna go. Not too great. 
great of a helmet, but that's all I'm going to run for this season. This is going to be the suit I have. This one right here. So, yeah. Matches the helmet. Gloves going to be right here. So... Yeah, matches suit and helmet. Just ready to race this kind of pose. I'm going to do the jump for joy karate kid looking thing. Nice! He's very nice! Oh, we did it! We did it! Woo! Great. Now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. Alright, so we're now we're jumping into the big uh name would you like to give the team? The big one. And our team name. Um For this first season, I'm gonna do WTF Racing. Okay. Nice. Now, WTF racing. Stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary, primary sponsor. sponsor. Let's see what we got. Our primary sponsor will pay a sign and bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They'll also provide a valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Okay. So, achieve five points finishes during this season. Um, okay. See these. Looks like they're harder the further over we go. 25 championship points in a season. I think we could, especially with our teammate and stuff. We're going to do the big one. Try to go for it. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power units, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. Because it is, in real life, definitely Red Bull is the best. Ferrari is one of the lower ones. But for this season, since they're new, we're going to go Red Bull. We almost have Be teammates with Red Bull. Now. We still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They have all their own oh, wow. and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they uh, earn. the higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, 
the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. So, didn't know I would. I had the Legend Edition, but apparently I do. Oh, button. Go hard. Nico! Um, I'm thinking one of these guys, my f favorite dude all time, Senna. I like him a lot, but I don't, we can't afford him. So, but Jensen's up there too. I'm gonna go with Jensen. Can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. I can afford Jensen. So, our teammate is gonna be Jensen Button. Be powered by Red Bull, and our sponsor is Moon. Let's create the livery. We'll be running Jump right into it. I'm gonna do a cut and then go to the reveal. And once we make it. Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. We're here at the headquarters of Formula One's newest team for an exclusive first look at what they will be bringing to the sport. It's always an exciting moment to welcome a new team onto the grid. However, what makes this occasion a little more special is how strikingly different the cars are this year. Yep, the long-awaited new regulations are finally here, and with them, the start of the next era of Formula One. The 2022 season ushers in a change of direction to the regulations aimed at promoting closer racing. With new aero additions in the form of swooping front and rear wings, along with the new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tires that will push tire technology to the limit. So then, the question remains as to whether this team can grasp the opportunity before them with both hands, and lead the charge against the rest of the paddock. We'll find out soon enough, as the new season is just about to begin. But first, let's see the unveiling of the team's car and meet the owner of the brand new Formula One team. Alrighty. So as you can see, the colors and stuff, a little bit different, more chromey silver, Thanks so much but for inviting us here yeah, today. It's been that's the colors of our team and scenes. car. As you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving a Formula One team. It's all about the team, you know. Got Doug, Matt, um, Bully in the in the engine shop. Uh, got Chris on the tires and suspension stuff. Nick, he's been doing a lot of the kind of management work. Doug, co-owner. So, you know, it's been hard, but it's got to be all of my team. Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? Skill. Really like their skill set. They've proven it. Always like Jensen. So, skill set. So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Make it as responsible as possible. Make it turn super fast. Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? We'll do... We'll do power unit. Oh, that's stressing. Your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? 
it's all about power. Hard to pass in corners, but you get going on the straightaways, boom. And finally, with so Blow right by specialist it. departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? We're going to say Arrow. Try to get it quick in the corners, be able to stay with everybody. Well, thank you so much for your time. I've uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. So, first week this as a management, you, the the you, you can, can see all the stuff that we have or can do. R&D right here, bunch of stuff, powertrains and units and stuff. Secondary sponsor we're going to actually try to find right now. Um, most weekly income is all I kind of care about. Outqualify your rival, that might be a little hard. Um, it's almost a year second sponsor. As a team, complete a total of 10 laps during practice. We can do that one. This is the driver market. From so, here you can see pertinent details on every driver in the sport. Them with each other we have a really good teammate, as we can see. Um, this is where you'll approach any drivers you wish to hire. Max Verstappen. Got Max. But has is an 88. So we have the Jensen. May have to pick him up, but got Michael, Senna, and Prost. Awesome. Yeah. Season 1. Bahrain, Imola, Miami, C Canada, Austria, Belgium, Italy, USA, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi. Gonna go into the R&D real quick. Um, just kind of look at what we can. We could upgrade a few things. Uh, hit one. Here you go. So we are just behind Alpha, right behind. We're ahead of McLaren, ahead of Alpine and Alpine, and then Williams and Haas, or uh, Williams and Aston are actually kind of far back. But durability's up there. Not too much chassis and aero stuff. So we're, I think we're gonna go aero. We might just leave it. I'm just going to leave it for this first race. Run it how it is. Um, yeah. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent. And that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's All time right. as efficiently as possible to maximize the team's performance. So. Power and durability. Uh, driver's camp, that one. And then arrow and chassis because they are the ones that are behind the most. And then they can't do nothing else. Mailbox. New course mail, all this messages. Alright. Advance of the week. Mm, I get stuff right here. More potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate tab. I can upgrade the arrow, which I might. In arrow, we are the six best. If we do this, it'll put us pretty far above alpha. Chassis, where are we? We're pretty far behind on chassis. So I think I'm going to do chassis. Yeah, 
I'll do chassis. I'm going to upgrade this one. And this one. Don't have enough for this one, but I have 67. 67. Well. 600, 670 R&D. More resource points. More arrow. Points. Um, yeah, it's race time, baby. Jump right into it, I guess. See what happens. Morale's low for engine. So I think we're going to do an upgrade. Failure chance. We do have actually the best engine. Okay. No questions. Gonna do an upgrade on the arrow. That's all we can do for upgrades currently. So that'll put us fourth on the board. But during the week we've dropped a lot, but after hopefully these weeks if these come in, we'll be back to where we were. But as we jump into it, first race of the season. Hey, welcome to the team. Good to finally meet you. I'm Max. I'm the head of R&D here. I've been following your career closely and I have to say I'm a huge fan. I think we're going to get on great. This is your machine. From here, you can track your performance, look into R&D upgrades, and much more. Let me know if you run into any problems. Alright. As we jump into it, uh, practice sessions, 30 minutes each. Uh, yeah, 30 minute practices, one shot qualifying, uh, actually 25 percent race. Uh, qualifying is going to be one shot, practice, Full practice and all that. Uh, got all these unread messages. Rivalries. Don't have a rival at the moment. R&D we can look at and all these. So, let's just jump into practice. Hey mate, this is Mark. Just wanted to say thanks for trusting me as your race engineer. I won't let you down. The car's ready to go, but it's brand new, of course, so there may be a few issues here and there. We'll be keeping a close eye on all the data from here. As we hear the first of Mark, not Jeff anymore, practice programs and stuff. Jump over here. Got race strategy, tire management, and track acclimation, which I think I'm going to do first. On the hards, flying lap. Here we go. Complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so coming back to the garage and I can take you through the numbers. 
need a lot of resource points right there. I think I might lower that. It does seem a little high. Um, so yeah, I think I might reduce it. But got a few things applied after the practice programs and stuff. Going to skip a lot. Jensen did a lot. I did a lot. Now we're uh, jumping into qualifying. Under the lights at Bahrain. See what we could do here. I think I'm gonna lower the wings to like pretty low. I know that top seed in this is actually pretty as effective, so I think I'm gonna go 10 and 20. Uh, rear end's gonna be locked. 90. Suspension, roll bars seem fine to me. Brakes, rear. Feel load. Do about that. And go right to the track. Oh, to the track. Fly and lap. Here we go. One shot. One shot qualifying for this race. So may change it, but that's what we're running for now. Pretty good first sector. Obviously not gonna be where Ferrari is in them, but wide open, stay wide open, stay wide open. Power Not too good of a last corner, but we're gonna drive it right to the end. Come on! Twenty second. Well, not the best. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves once again of our top three. Sainz, so, um, and the field Goodbye pretty spread out. We're definitely the furthest behind by a lot. So, sure join us again button in the top ten. Tomorrow. Or 11th, but we're going to be starting at the back. Has fun with it. Um, yeah, first race. Let's go. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit with the best, of course, at turn one, and then another soon after into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into that tight left-hander of turn 10. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Sergio Perez, and Russell, Ricardo, Bottas, Norris, and Jensen Button, Magnussen, Gasly, Yuki Tsunoda, and Ocon, Mick Schumacher, Vettel, Guan Yu Zhou, and Alex Albon, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Latifi, and Black Mamba. And now it's time to head down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. 
Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. First race of the season, and unfortunately we're at the back of the grid, but let's show the team what you can do from here. Alright, we got the race, um, race strategy. Could do 7-7 seven and seven or 7-8. Seven and eight. Says that this one is 4 seconds quicker, which I believe I'm going to do. Um, can't change the setup now, now that it's been adjusted, so can't do that. Or yeah, I can, I can change front wing, just not rear wing. So I'm going to make it kind of, I'm going to go back up on it, try to make it more safe for the race. But, race number one of the career is going to be underway. Here. Got the formation lap for the first time in this. So, going to see how this goes. First time doing it. So I don't know how this is going to go. But, um... We need to learn the gears. So go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes. So put some energy into them and warm the tyres as well, please. So as you can see there, they definitely know. Like they have brakes, heat, the temps. Get the temps up. Not being cold. Trying to scrub them in. Try to warm them up. This is actually pretty cool. I don't mind this. Shift on a second right here. No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions look good. I hope not. Try to keep the heat in them. Get brake temp. Almost 1,500 degrees it seems like. Crazy. Behind Nicholas Latifi. going to be starting P22. Excited for this crew mode. Um, really excited. I mean, it's going to be fun to see what happens. Um, first solo one. Maybe a few editing stuff. But 25% races. One shot qualifying for now. Um, going to see what happens, I guess. Not much more that we could do, so. Race number one at Bahrain. Here we go. Try to get this thing lined up. I just didn't stop perfect. Pull the clutch. Lights are out and we're underway at Bahrain. Get an okay start for our first start on the game. Put on overtake, try to go to the bottom of him in the turn one. He's gonna swerve right in front of us, try to block us off. We're gonna just dive it up the inside. Gonna main be gaining a lot of spots, but also have a lot of wheel spin. He's gonna be on the curb. That's not gonna be good for us. We're all gonna be kind of stacking up down the front stretch right here, or down the second straightaway. Gonna break early, check up, get into the corner. Second, gotta be real easy because tires are still not warm, warm. To be aggressive on Thought, we're going to be clear of Vettel. Try to get around Latifi. Try to sneak around the outside. He's going to squeeze us off. Try to go around the outside of Schumacher. Try to get it down. We're going to be on the inside for the next one. Caution up front. Red Bull. It's Perez. Something happened to, I think he qualified in fourth. Wow. That's going to be big. Uh, big. Definitely big. Got Latifi and Alonzo behind us battling. Trying to catch Schumacher. Obviously first season. Um, 
with the new car first season with uh, the new with the new uh, oh turn come on new season new car new game um, everything as everybody's saying a rookie so I have to be careful of that try to learn learn my way through F1 see how everything rolls and works Get on the back bumper, Schumacher. Lots of wheel spin. I have to be careful with that. Still trying to understand this game. Get that through my head. Gonna fall back to 16th just from that little mistake. Alonso is waiting there to pounce. Okay, we've lost the position. That's us down a place. Gonna have to be careful with it. Eventful lap one, I'd say. Late dive on Alonso right there. Not going to be enough. Going to be really easy on throttle on exit. Going to just wait. Be patient with it. Going to be really careful. Uh, trying to save tires, but then also not be too aggressive and burn the tires. Which I have a feeling I might. Alonso gets a turn. Everybody seems to be single file. Everybody seems to be pretty close. Trying to make these tires last till lap 7, I believe, was our strategy. So we're going to have to be wary of that. Already at 26%. That's not very good at all. Uh, wow, okay. That's very bad. <laughs> all right. DRS this lap. Can't wait to get these tires off. Already on lap three, I fell them. Thoughts I was saving them, but I guess not. Rear tires are burnt. Have to upgrade our tire management, I guess. Lonzo pressuring on the back of Mick. So we got Vettel behind us. Haven't seen too many passes so far. Gonna have to be looking out for any opportunity we can. There's a yellow up here for some reason. Gonna keep, keep going with it though. There was a spin or something. Someone's out. I think it's Vettel. Vettel had an issue. He's gonna drop back now. Yep, he is out of the session. That's unfortunate for the newcomer. Actually, was announced few days ago he is going to be retiring at the end of the season so crazy to think that but we're going to go to lap 5 actually I think that'll be better for us um, let us be able to save try to undercut everybody run a lap longer on the mediums try it and see what happens nothing to lose everything to gain right now so not too worried Tires are actually looking good. We just don't have the pace of everybody in front. So that's the confidence booster. Forties. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that there, Chief. 
As we're coming across, 10 to go. We're going to pit this lap, I believe. Yes, we are. Boxing this lap. Try to gain anything we can. Don't seem to be able to gain any time, kind of anywhere. Perez definitely quicker behind us after that mistake or whatever happened to him into turn one. And gap to the car in front is 2.2 seconds. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Go on board for a lap, maybe. Don't think I'm quick with it at all, but remember I used to drive with this thing or in this view, but this game feel a lot more confident in the outer view. And this one not seem to work. That was a terrible corner. Okay. These things are definitely hard to drive. A lot different to drive. A lot more challenging. Derek Perez gains on entry. I just can't never, I can't seem to do that. Lost three seconds in that run. Gonna change the mediums. Was able to get it on perfectly. 2.4 on the pit stop. Good job, pit crew. Haven't even been able to upgrade any, y'all. Here we go. Cold tires, though. Got to be careful with that. Be cold tires from now on. Or at least for this first lap or two. Oh yeah, definitely feel it. Not not turning like it did before. On the softs. Trying to get heat in them, just can't. And I've turned it on track control to medium so I don't make as many mistakes. So that means I can't heat them up, but You see how it's all pitting. Leaders seem to be pitting right now. Was that Hamilton that stayed out? Teammates in the pits. Try to gain as many spots as we can. Hopefully they'll struggle on their first lap out too. Jensen is in the pits. Jensen in the pits. He's in the pit box. Gonna be flying down this front straightaway. Can we pass anybody? We're two seconds back on Alonzo. We're gonna get past a few people actually. Albon and Stroll, which they were already behind us. Alonzo still ahead. Okay. Not what we uh, wanted, but what we have to deal with. He actually gained time on us. Okay. But and actually lost a lot of spots though. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. And the gap behind us is 5.7 seconds. We actually are gaining on Alonso a little bit. Maybe he is struggling on cold tires. Maybe we'll be able to be there and get with him. Come in to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. 
Does that mean he's gonna pit, or... That's what he's on. You see that, Jeff? Not Jeff, Mark. Whatever, new guy. Uh, Latifi pitted. When you pitted. Alright, we're back in 17th. Someone possibly stayed out. I don't know who. But you see Jensen up in front of us, Perez. Either having an issue or trying to get past people still. Red Bull and Ferrari been battling all season. Or we're expected to be the two fastest in touring the season, which they are. But Perez having issues this race. They are being held up by whoever it is up front. I don't know, but they are being held up. So we're going to actually catch, possibly. We need to push as hard as we can, try to get into DRS and see if we can make some moves happen. Our teammate Button's going to defend on Perez heading into turn number... Is that seven? Not fully sure, but he's going to defend Perez. Yeah, that's going to hold them back even more. We need to push and try to get into DRS range this lap. We're not going to be able to save some ERS. They are going to be fighting on the back bumper of each other. They're going to be three wide. No, they're going to get around Jensen. So the car's pace is shown to be about here. Jensen. Either having a bad strategy or not able to hold it. Not for sure, but wasn't able to hold off Perez or Alonso. Sticking right with him though, Alonso's gonna be forced out to the out or to the inside. It'll leave Perez be able to drive back around him. Alonso makes a big mistake. That's gonna leave us to be able to gain and catch him. We're gonna be in DRS range now. Can we make a move on Jensen and Alonso heading into this corner again? They were able to make a corner. Be able to make a move on each other. Don't seem like it. We're not going to be close enough for most of these corners. Just going to try to stay with them. Maybe get a big toe down the front stretch. If he goes around... Alonso, which Alonso is possibly out of DRS range from Perez. Did we get lucky? Jensen is gaining, 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 gaining on Alonso. Will he go for the dive? No, he's going to sit behind him and try to wait. These two had great battles back in the day. And they have to be... Five tenths? God dang! We're just not going to be close enough, it seems like, ever to have a dive. Alon Button trying to find a way around Alonzo, but he's not able to. It looks like our our car car's pace is 16th and 17th. We're definitely not the faster ones. Just that one lap pace I don't have. Jensen doesn't seem to have the race pace. We're good on fuel. Just not ever close enough. Don't have the acceleration on the exit. Feel the tires slipping in the rear just a little bit. Max sets the fastest lap of the race. Gonna be in draft on him. I think that's a Haas that's actually dropping back to us as well. That's what this F1 wanted was better racing. We're gonna get better racing now. Button has a run on Alonso. 
not going to be close enough though. Alonzo also got DRS off of the Magnuson, that is. Alonso's not going to be close enough on Magnuson to have a dive. All just kind of in a train right here. Nothing that we can kind of do. Big wiggle out of us. Wow. Wonder if Alonso's gonna be close enough in these last few laps to have a dive. Hopefully get them side by side and let us be able to gain. Maybe try to pass all three of these guys. Gonna need to be close from this slow to be able to have a chance. Closer times we've been, the closest we've been. Gonna have DRS, Alonzo, not gaining on the mini map. Closer than we've been all race. Be able to reach out and touch his rear spoiler. His rear wing. Gonna be hit DRS. Alonzo, guys, a run on Magnuson, not gonna be close enough. Trying to save some ERS because get it going through. It's too much, using too much currently. Lonzo thought about looking around the outside right there. Big wiggle out of us again. Need to be able to use more fuel, it seems like. You're going to be too far out in front of us now. It doesn't seem like we're going to have the pace to pass them or outdrive them. There's no mistakes. Hopefully they make one. And they be in DRS range. Not going to be close enough. No DRS for us to slap. Gonna be forced to use ERS. That's gonna let them pull massively on us. I think it's kind of over at this point now. Alonzo, close as he's been on Magnuson. the corners it seems like more actually the McLaren seems to be holding up a big pack in front of us to save ERS down this straight away to try to maybe be there for the front stretch. Don't think it's going to matter. Definitely nowhere close enough. Coming up to the final lap of the race. Oh, they're battling entering the last corner. Gonna stack a lot of people up actually. They're gonna be all side by side right in front of us. We're gonna have a perfect view for this battle. Come on, Jensen, game some spots. Okay. He's gonna be underneath Alonzo finally. They're all battling right here, right in front of us. We're not close enough though to gain any spots. One of the closest we've been to Alonzo though. 
Jensen going to the bottom. He's going to be able to drive it up upon the inside. He's going to make contact with Sonoda. It'll be close this time. Haas is battling. Going to throw it up the inside on Alonzo. First time that we've been this close or been able to be here to the gears on Alonzo. Oh, Haas is going to have a big mistake out front. That's going to be a free spot for us. We're going to be a P16 now. Going to have DRS on Alonso, but everybody's going to have DRS on each other. Another yellow. Carlos Sainz wins the race. Seeking of a Spanish driver. We're battling a Spanish driver. I believe Alonso is. But we're going to try to figure something out. Who's going to have a run on who heading into the final corner? Nobody's going to be there to go for a dive. Going to try anything. We're not going to be close enough. P16 for us. Started 22nd. P16. Got wild at the end. But. Wow. Alright. Do not think. Um. Jar of the day, Perez had that spin early. Was able to claw his way back up into the points, I think. But wow, big mistake out of the Haas at the end. But Carlos ends up getting the win at Bahrain. He's going to be leading the points. Ferrari with the win over Red Bull, but Max P P2 still up there. Let's see how the driver standing. So today. best lap went to Carlos too. Carlos assumes the top spot in the championship standings. So Jensen Let's lost some spots. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Well, there was a lot of incredible driving out there today, but if I had to pick someone, it's got to be Sergio Perez. Fantastic driving. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. So we started 22nd, ended up 16, gained spots. Alonso, we actually gained more spots than Alonso. He started two rows, or a row in front. Uh... So heading into the second race of the season, Carlos is going to be leading the points. Max and Charles following behind. Then you got the two Mercedes. Um, it's going to be interesting how this falls. Uh, if we go to Constructors, Mercedes actually is second and Red Bull is third. Going to be close. Ferrari definitely had the better car that race. Or the better. Better car but that's gonna do it for uh first race in Bahrain um 10 laps of practice we did more than that so that's the good thing about that round two is gonna be at Imola but uh that'll be it so second round is gonna be at Imola so that'll be fun but a bunch of upgrades coming in this week and I believe I'm going to leave the difficulty the same uh, let me check what it is actually what was it 83 I'll bump it up to 85 and then probably leave it for the remainder of this season um, hopefully our car gets better but as we can see yeah I think that's going to be all so if you guys enjoyed um, please leave a like, subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.